two female roles are written really well. What I really liked about Emily and Gillian and the way they sort of spar with each other, because they're sisters and know each other inside out and are very close, there's lots of stuff where they're sort of controlling and manipulating one another's behaviour. And that's really interesting to play. You can't just leave me on my own like that. You know I can't manage without you. She is very close to her sister, or attempts to be very close to her sister, and sort of can't really live without her, and can't function without her. And, um, and her sister films sort of a rite of passage for Gillian, really. And um, so she's sort of finding her own way in the world, and Emily's desperately trying to hold on to her. What are we doing here? I want you to go. No! Why? What's got into you? You can't do this. You keep doing this. I can't stand it anymore. Emily might be seen as being slightly um, unstable and troubled. Um, I don't think she's mad yet. No, I don't. I, um, and obviously there's things that she does in the latter half of the film that are quite deranged. But um, I, Well, because I'm playing her, so I'll sort of stick up for it. But I, there's reason behind why she does um, things and why she behaves in certain ways. So I don't think I don't think yet she's entirely mad, but that's really for an audience to decide, I suppose.